Hi, my name is Zoe Zapata. I'm a third year humanities computing and design major, and I'm also the president of the Latin American Student Association in 2022 to 2023. Um, and the date is February 1st, 2023. Okay, sorry, please question. Why was it important for you to celebrate, for you to participate in this event today? RHC has a lot of issues with celebrating um, cultural events, and I think that the fact that they're putting a highlight on the start of Black History Month, just like they are doing with, more often with other cultural events, really plays an importance that they're recognizing that there are students of color at this school, there are students of color who are proud of who they are, and it also teaches um, people from different cultures, especially white students, that what our culture is about. And, and how intricate it is and what's so great and not great about it or what's to learn from it. How do you observe Black Heritage Month? Describe how Black Heritage Month is observed in your classes, peer groups, or within the RIT community. Um, I've, I am Afro-Latina, so I observe Black Heritage Month with my community. We are often make jokes, we like to go out, we like to take advantage of all the fun, cool stuff that's out um, and now available in places like Target. Um, in our classes and peer in the RIT community, honestly, events like this, like today with uh, the Black History Month kickoff, um, smaller Alana led events, these are just provide a place for us to, as Black students, to find a place to celebrate and be able to kind of contextualize this, be able just to have fun celebrating a, a month that is meant for us and is sometimes a little undermined. How well, in your opinion, does RIT represent or amplify Black voices? Are there any changes that you would like to see that you'd like to see implemented? I believe that RIT still has a long way to go in amplifying Black voices. I think there is a lot of issues with over speaking, where they will say they're amplifying the Black voice and still yet have to water it down for white audiences to make it more palatable to them. But I do think RIT is coming a long way since I was a freshman on um, amplifying Black voices, representing a lot of communities at this school, um, and actually allowing students of color, teachers of color, even um, people of color in general, visitors to come to the school to say their piece and to be able to teach the community. I think we still have ways to go and not just getting more Alana students involved, but also providing these teachings to students of different backgrounds who are not exposed to POC communities and therefore are sometimes ignorant of their struggles, their cultures, and by allowing Black people and other cultural communities to be able to speak on this campus, um, it can actually bridge the gap that a lot of all the POC students feel there is between them and the white community. Have you ever felt pressure to change your natural hair or conform to white Eurocentric beauty standards when working or studying at RIT? Tell us about your experiences. So RIT is not not an exception to the racism I felt um, throughout my entire life about my hair. I have a very complicated issue with my hair. Once again, I am Afro Latina, um, so I am I am a my minority within a minority group. Um, I already get comments from my own family about my hair, and going to RIT, I've already gotten comments of how they believe my hair is not real, how if I change my hair, um, they're surprised, they don't understand um, how to take care of Afro hair, or not mine is Afro hair, curly hair, natural hair. Um, I think RIT really pushes the idea of white Eurocentric beauty standards a lot, even in the smaller things like professional photos. I have professional photos where the lady pushes my hair out of my way, even though I like my Afro, my little curls in my face. I like the curls that just frame my face per perfectly. I don't understand why there has to be a need to conform to Eurocentric beauty standards, but that's sadly just how um, a lot of people a lot of white people at this school are, and especially working on campus, actually, I've had people come up to me and touch my hair without permission, um, ask if it's real. Um, they will ask weird questions about it, like, is it real? Are you mixed? I get a lot of questions if I'm mixed. Um, and, such, and things like that. So RIT is a great place. Don't put that in there. Edit that up. All right.